Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Flags Jokes Web Challenge from the Nahamkram CTF. Um, the description is, you want to hear a joke, want the flag, how about both? Why don't you tell me a joke? If we go to the, or the website, we see that we get asked to enter a username and log in. If we log in, we get a token and it also says only the admin can see the flag. Now if we were to log in as admin, it'll say, hey, you can't log in as admin. So we want to be admin. So let's take a look at this token. So if we paste this token in jwt.io, we set it, see that it uses rs256. It also has a jku and a kit field, uh, a key identifier. Uh, it has our, has our username, and then uh, you have to sign it with the public key and the private key, the public and private RSA key. Now, uh, at first I didn't know what these two fields meant, so I searched for them and I found that JKU is an URI that, reference, uh, that references the public key used for generating the signature, and the kit is the key identification or the key identifier, which is used to, uh, to identify the key. But that's simply it. Uh, but I also found this uh, JWKS spoofing, uh, which says if the token uses a JKU header, um, then check out the provided URL. Um, so that will contain a JWKS file that holds the public key. And here it says, if you get an HTTP interaction, you know that the server is trying to load keys from the URL you're supplying. Um, so let's uh, take all of that in. So first of all, we want to take a look at this URL. We can't go to the local host, but we can see if it's maybe here. And it is. So here we have a public key. So this is being loaded uh, whenever we, uh, well, we the, the token is being used. Now, what it said was we should try to uh, see if we can get a request if we put a remote location here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this part of our key, put that in here from base64. So we have this. Let's put that in a new tab and then let's do a to base64 but we are going to change the url we're going to make a post bin so we can see if we get a request from the server or not so we're going to change this to our url copy that go back in here paste that in there and then copy the whole token go back to the server paste the token in and let's see what happens so as expected, we get a bad request because if it goes to the server, it wouldn't find a public key, it wouldn't find what it wants. And if we take a look here, we see that we actually um, we get a request from the server, which is great, which is exactly what we wanted. So this vulnerability is probably possible. So now, what do we actually want to do? Well, when actually we want to set our name, our username to admin. Um, and then we want to have our own public key and private key, which get loaded from a URL. So first of all, let's create our uh, public key and private key. So on this website, we can do it. Uh, so we have to use our key for si a signature. We're using RS256 and our key ID is the, is the key ID that we get, got from here. Grab that, paste that in here and generate this. Okay, so now we have public key and then a private key set. This we're going to want to turn into a PEM format. And then once we have that, we can put it in. So our public key and our private key. And now we still need the URL. And for that, we're going to copy the public key. And then we're going to go in on our website. Uh, I'm going to make a, a new file, jwks.json. And in here, we're going to put our, our keys. Uh, let's do double quotes. Our keys, which is going to be an array. And our array is going to contain our public key. Right, so if we exit that, now we have that there and we can access that through the web and get our key. Okay, that's perfect. So now we want to include this URL 
in here, paste it in. Our name is admin. I don't know if lowercase or uppercase matters. And we have our JWT token. Copy our token, paste our token in, and load the main page. And as you can see, we are now logged in as admin, and we get our flag. Whoops, typo should have been flag underscore J. W K S. Um, so that was, this was a very interesting challenge. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a really, really good one. Uh, the CTF has been really fun so far. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video and I'll see you back in another video.